You're fasting, so it's fixing all your problems, right? Well, we still have to be paying attention to our circadian rhythm. Look at our circadian rhythm is a lot more complicated than we give it credit for. See, our circadian rhythm really operates on two sort of systems. One system is what we call the systemic clock. Okay, that's the clock that our body already knows. It, it to some degree knows what 24 hours is. That's why it's somewhat predictable. In fact, it's kind of interesting. Some of our hormones, some of our enzymes will actually start to fluctuate when they anticipate what would normally happen at that given point in time. For example, someone that regularly works out in the morning, they might start to have a spike of blood glucose in the morning before they work out simply because their body knows that they're about to do that. Our body is predictable and it tries to guess what we're gonna do because it's that darn cool. But then there's another component and that is the part that we are in control of. That is our environmental cues. And it's our job to make sure that our environmental cues align with our natural systemic cues. So environmental cues are things like light, for example. You may have heard that it's important to wear blue blocking glasses or to kind of reduce screen time in the afternoon or the evening. Well, that's because that is an external cue. And what happens is, yes, that triggers you to be awake, but at a core level, you end up with this almost dissonance between your environmental cues and your systemic cues. And this is what creates sort of this pattern interrupt that causes this paradoxical thing that just messes up our circadian rhythm. We are trying to do what we can to make our body be somewhat predictable. I know we often say in the metabolic world that you need to keep your body guessing, but that's when it comes down to fuel sources. When it comes down to timing, you want to be kind of predictable because if your body is used to having food coming in at a certain time and you bring food in at a different time, it may not have the machinery, the mitochondrial machinery, the enzymatic portfolio to really take care of that stuff. So fasting has the ability to help reset that. We'll talk about that in some of the upcoming videos, but it's very important. Our circadian rhythm is just about everything when it comes down to homeostasis and balance within our body.